This is because he's not likely to attack again for a couple of minutes because he has to rebuild his army. Usually he has to get medevacs because all of his army was damaged from the stim. So it's pretty safe to go expand at this point. And he is just teching up as well. I really should move this observer out a little more, but he has the tower right there, so it would get shot down. So I'm just expanding and assuming that he doesn't have too much tech at this point. Now I do check with the observer to see what his starport is attaching to. It's a reactor, which means I don't have to worry about Banshee drop. I don't have to worry about Banshee harass. I do have to worry about drops, but not Banshee harass, which is good. And while I'm doing that, get the Colossus, get the Colossus range. Notice now I'm still only on three gateways and one robo. This is because I'm researching and expanding at the same time. I sh uh, if I'm going for mass production, I would have to switch out and get more gateways down. But at this point, I'm just researching and expanding because I don't expect them to go on a major offensive at this point. But now that I'm getting a third up, I can throw in more gateways because I will have plenty of resources. And it's also important to start Templar tech as soon as possible as well. You can't stay on Colossus forever in this matchup. You have to eventually switch into Templar at some point. I mean, the only way you're going to stay on Colossus is if you manage to win it with a push. Very rarely happens. But I am staying back here instead of moving up. If I move up, it uh, puts my army out in the open. And I like to fight back at the choke points. And I can see he has a tower here, which means he might start taking the gold, which is not good. So I need to move out and take a look at that and see exactly what he's doing. If I let him get the gold, that would force my hand and uh, make me attack. And I can see he definitely has the gold which is really bad. I mean, we're on equal bases, and the gold doesn't really give you more minerals because it just uh, increases the rate of saturation. So I do need to uh, put some pressure on him now at this point, though I can't just let him have that. But if you look at the production tab, I'm still making Colossus. I should start Zealot Legs soon. But you want to keep up Zealot production, clear these watchtowers. What I'm going to do is just go and pressure his expansion. I'm not really going to commit to any kind of attack. This is just to see what's going on over here. See, so he has a planetary force up, which are very, very hard to crack. So I just want to put some pressure on. Keep force fields there to keep the infantry from darting and killing my Colossus. Try to focus down these Vikings with my uh, stalkers and sentries. Keep the Viking count down as low as possible. Don't really want to lose too much. If he wants to attack, he has to come through this area, which I can easily choke off there. I'm stopping mining from here while he's uh, trying to auto-repair that planetary fortress. Just get any little advantage I can. Now here he comes after me. I force him to stim, which is great. And now I can cut his army a little bit. Get, make him keep running around. And kill a couple of his uh, marauders. Let's keep his army count down. Force him to keep spending to replace it. My army... Uh, is depleting a little bit, so I should be rebuilding things. I'm not macroing as well as I should while I micro this army. But it's important that you keep a very close eye on the army because the second you don't, he'll still not kill your Colossus and then you're done. You can't lose those Colossus, otherwise your infantry is completely and utterly horribly effective against them. But now I'm starting Zealot Legs and Templar Tech, which is the next day phase here. I decided to go around, which is a pretty cool idea because you can kill all those workers with the Excite from the Colossus. So I'm just going to sit there, keep them from mining at this base. And again, try to keep the Colossus protected from the Vikings. And we'll just move back around. Now here he makes an interesting decision. Instead of attacking my army, he counterattacks here and here at both my nexuses. So I warp in some zealots here to stop him, some stalkers here to stop him. Those stalkers are all getting annihilated, but instead of moving army backwards, I want to move forward to take out his planetary fortress. I know I can't save both of these Nexus. One's going to die. If I'm going to lose a Nexus, he's going to lose a gold base, which is actually a fairly good trade for me. So this Nexus looks like it's going to die. This one he pulled back from the help defend. And again, you want to kill those Vikings as soon as possible. Keep your uh, Colossus alive as long as possible. Do as much damage with them as possible. Unfortunately, they uh, do die but not until uh, doing significant damage to him. And we're still cleaning this up with a couple of zealots and some probes, actually. He does manage to push my attack back, 
But in the end, if you look at what was lost on both sides, I lost a base, he lost a base, we both lost our entire army. So it's going back to a state of normalcy. Now a lot of players, when they see their base start to be attacked like this, they would pull their army back. That would be a very bad decision because I would never get back in time in order to uh, defend both my nexus. I'd still lose one. No matter what I did, I was going to lose one of these nexuses. So I wanted to at least cause equal damage to him. But now I'm getting stim. Uh, yeah, now I'm getting storm for my uh, Templar. Keep making Colossus. You can't stop Colossus production. If you caught without Colossus, you are dead. And I'm going to start getting upgrades. I need a forge for that. I should start getting upgrades earlier, but I've been a little busy making other things. So we're re expanding. As soon as that Nexus went down, we put another one up. And throw a couple more gateways on. You want a lot of gateways if you're going on Templar because. You're going to spend a lot of your gas on Templar, which means you'll have a lot of minerals left over. You won't be able to dump that all into Zealots, which are incredibly powerful against this uh, type of Terran that's doing all infantry. The uh, Zealot is great because it absorbs so much fire from the Marauders. So I have my Forge down. This Nexus is damaged, but it's fine. So now I have a nice Colossus army, and he moves out to try to finish off my Nexus here. Fortunately, I do have a very large army at this point with Storm almost finished. Almost finished, so I'll be able to handle this very easily. And there we go. He does manage to kill my Colossus, but at this point I have Templar, so I really don't need the Colossus anymore. And I managed to clean up his army pretty well. That went very well for me. So, good idea would be to move my army out to see what exactly what he's doing. Which I do. He probably did rebuild at some point, but I'm going to need to take these towers to see what's going on here. We'll just take a look over at his base to see what exactly is going on. I don't want him to have this third base. I don't want him to have the gold base either, but if he has to have one of them, I want him to not have both. <laughs> so we'll just move a Templar in very slowly by itself to see if there's anything over here. And there is. We can just storm his workers. He doesn't have any defenses here, which he should. Let's we'll push in and try to kill this. Storm the workers as you go. Let's attack did kill almost all of his workers here, but I do man manage to lose like most of my Templar and Stalkers, which isn't really good, but I did cripple his economy, so whatever, take it and move it. If you check the income tab, he is down to uh, 47 workers, which is great. You want to keep him low. I have plenty of gateways so I can replenish my army very quickly. Zealot High Templar is very cost effective against this. And he's probably going to push in here, so I want to throw down some cannons here for defense just to buy some time to get my army over there. He's down to 37 workers, actually, which is very good. Check out the production tab. I'm getting armor, and I'm starting to make Colossus again. I want to keep making one or two Colossus and force him to have some Vikings. Now his army comes in here and just instantly snipes this Nexus off, which is very good for him. Unfortunately, uh, Marauders do insane damage, so they just instantly destroy a Nexus. Well, I'm not uh, hopeless with the retaliation. I do have a nice sized Zealot Templar force here. Of course, EMP would shatter this, so you have to be very careful. But we can still push in. He has uh, mostly Marauders at this point, which are very poor against this composition. So we'll just mow through, storming all the infantry. And of course, that killed the vast majority of his army. So he doesn't really have much left, neither do I. But again, I can reinforce almost instantly from my army. So at this point, he is on three base. I'm still on just uh, two, which isn't great. But again, my army is more cost efficient. So I should be fine. Again, we have to keep uh, just moving the army around. We're going to have to take the, one of these towers soon. I have a Colossus, some Stalkers, some Templar, a very balanced force. So I'm going to need to take my expansion, then we'll move out to the towers. The fact that he doesn't, he didn't have this base when I last checked, means that as long as I can keep him on a, these two bases mining mostly, he will eventually just mine out, which will be great, obviously, for me. We'll move out and take the tower. And the important thing about this tower is it gives me a huge range of sight so I can see what's coming. 
if he's coming with anything from here, I can move in with a Templar to preemptively storm it. And I see two ghosts, so because those are great against Templar, you just move the Templar up and feedback them. Boom. Feedback. Now they're useless. For a while, anyway. You can see he's still maintaining Viking superiority in the middle, which is great on his part. Of course, I keep warping in more and more units. And here comes his army. Very small at this point. Might not be his whole army, might just be a small force. But you can still take it out easily. And of course, you still want to keep that Colossus alive. I mean, just because you have other units besides the Colossus doesn't mean you really want to lose them anyway. And here is his main army. He was trying to trick me into getting out of position. Storms, very important. Cast on all the infantry. Just melt through them. And feedback all the medevacs if they're trying to run away. Most useful part of the Colossus is to give sight to the high uh, areas like this. After that engagement, my army is probably superior than his, superior to his. So we just need to get this expansion up. Should send another probe over soon. And we can push around this way to see if there's anything over there. Most likely there isn't. After a battle like that, he probably doesn't have much left. But he does have siege tanks, and I took a sight at the tower, so he didn't have too much. So I feel comfortable pushing in. I don't have any Templar with this force. I do have a Colossus, though, for area of effect damage, which is all I really need to deal with Terran. He doesn't have much infantry in the open anyway, so Templar wouldn't be too helpful in here. Even still, I do have more Templar coming in as reinforcements. We'll continue to try to mow through up here. And you can see his army just evaporate, pretty much. Meanwhile, I am taking this expansion, this expansion saturated, this expansion saturated. I have a Colossus waiting back here. Just want to keep reinforcing as you go. And pull back with whatever forces you can. Now you can see my supply is getting kind of low. I'm getting a little uh, damaged here. I do need to re-establish re a good economy. But with, uh, I think I have, what is that, 10 warp gates? You can warp in a whole new army very quickly crazy how fast you can replenish the Zealot uh, Templar Stalker Force. And you can see he's kind of upset by how great my macro is. Toss's macro is. Just mow through it. But that is a awesome late game, I thought. Most important thing to take away from this is at some point you have to switch from Colossus into Templar. I see a lot of players that just stick with Colossus the entire time. Switch over to Templar eventually keep making them both at the same time for a while and you won't have any problems with Terran. They're one of the easier matchups if you make it to the late game. You just have to survive those early infantry pushes by using good force fields and guardian shields. But after that, it's a uh, piece of cake. Thanks for watching guys.